What is going on, my everything? It is your girl, Janiqua A, and I am back with another reading for you guys. If no one told you guys today, I love you, and I know all your dreams and aspirations matter because they do, so let's tap in. Let's tap into the most important message that surrounds your current energy, damn, at this time. Archangel Michael in the leg ball, please protect me. Protect my mind, my body, and my spirit. Clear all my chakras as we tap in to the most important messages surrounding my everything's energy. Darkness. So right now, you're very quiet. You're very mysterious. You're very, very unpredictable right now because a lot of people do not know what you know, but they know you know. <laughs> I hope that makes sense. With this darkness card, a lot of people really don't know what you know, but they know you know things very important things that you do not act like you know. That is all about embracing darkness and the unknown and secrets and unrevealing things and the subconscious mind. All right? Literally tapping in to the darkest parts of yourself right now. All right? Creating a real balance. All right, a lot of people could really be confused by your energy. A lot of you guys are facing your deepest, darkest secrets or fears that seem like a terrifying, right, task that you are faced with. It's a shadow work because darkness has to come to you. It has to come to you because some answers are not ready to present themselves yet. And a lot of you guys may be blocking blessed illuminations through patterns of denial about what you know, what you desire, and the current situation at hand. You're realizing that unhealed wounds from the past could slow you down. And you are not willing to allow those wounds to cause you to doubt yourself or to doubt your judgment and sense of direction right now. And for a lot of you guys, be patient with yourself because you're handling the energy of darkness, which is very, very intense. So make sure you understand that you don't have to try to heal all at once, all right? Simply slowing down, right? And acknowledging the hurt, the pain that you are experiencing, even if it's not caused by necessarily somebody. Acknowledge that. Self-reflect. Practice, you know, gently facing things you hold in deep you know in dark spaces within things that you don't tell nobody things that you rather you know just keep quiet practice gently facing those things all right but this is a very unpredictable energy right now because the best weapon of a divine feminine or anybody is her silence because in silence people do not know what you're doing people that don't know how you feel maybe people don't know there's just a lot of questions so the best weapon right now for you is your silence and embracing this very intense energy of the unknown and 
the mysteries of things is what I'm getting. <laughs> Very deep card. You could be seeing a lot of ravens, a lot of crows. This is a symbol of rebirth and um, guidance through the dark, magic, um, the subconscious, being able to face your fears. A lot of you guys could even be going through the dark night of the soul. It may not be as intense, but for some of you guys, maybe, depending on your healing, you might be going through the dark night of the soul. Where a lot of things, you know, from based off of my experience, um, oftentimes when you hit that mark again, when you need to purge and go through the dark night of the soul because something big, you know, you're getting ready for It's like, um, it's just, a, I just see a major personal transformation for you right now. But you know where you're going, kind of like. You're making sure you're watching your surroundings. Again, it's like, a lot of people don't know what you know. But they know what they know you know something. Alright. Spirit, what else um does my everything need to know about this energy? Very beautiful card. Um, your colors right now could be dark blue. Or green, like a dark green. Wow, the river woman. Oh, so this is honoring. This is showing gratitude um, for the ones that came before you. This is honoring the water. Honoring the river. And utilizing and harnessing a lot of energies when it comes to water. Also, Psalms 23 could be very significant to you guys. All right, but as a, um, you know, as a river woman, you're shifting. Your soul is shifting with, with life and the currents of life right now. All right, as a river woman, you embrace life as it comes. The blockages, the, the rapid ties, you adapt. You stay calm through this change. You know why? Because the river woman knows every situation, no matter how challenging it may be, is in favor of her highest good. And every fear is actually an invite to an opportunity for her to rise within that fear. All right? Every obstacle that you're going through right now is a chance for you to grow like the river woman. And every blessing that's coming towards you right now, it will be for a cause of celebration. Handling all of this dark energy, it's very, very intense. Trust your journey, whoever you are. Trust that your journey is mapped out for you, specifically by the universe. A lot of you guys might feel trapped in rushing something. Um, you may feel like um, things are a little rocky right now. For some of you guys, you might even feel like you had a fork in the road trying to decide which way to go next. But this is a signal that you are in the right direction when you don't know the darkness. When everything that was mapped out, you did, and now you hit a mark where 
you like, oh my gosh, what now? All right, that is stepping into the unknown. That is God saying, trust me. Trust me. You made it right here. Now it's time for the big part. All right, that's where the faith come in at. That's where, you know, the real lessons come in at when it comes to divine time and understand who you are to the universe. All right, so wow. This is a deep personal transformation for you guys. You could be a life path number six. Wow. Your ancestors. You are one of the ancient ones here on this earth. To be a part of this major shift in the collective consciousness. It never been done before. We are a part of something that has never been experienced before here on this earth. You have a lot of guys speaking through you. You have a lot of guys being able to assist you because of the lack of blockages in your system, all right? You know, the ancients are a collective of very powerful beings who have walked this earth way before you, all right? They are trees, they are animals, plants, and the ancestors, you know, they do come back, they do reincarnate. And they are always watching out for you guys. And supporting you in so many different ways that you probably can't even fathom right now. All right. You could call on them anytime, depending on your relationship. Especially when your back is against the wall and your back don't always got to be against the wall with money. It could just be with feeling emotionally lost or whatever it is. Don't put your healing in a bracket. There is no shame in seeking support. All right, there is, you know, you just so you have self discipline, of course, but there are many things that are too big for you to handle on your own. And you must recognize that because you are a child, you are somebody's child. A lot of you guys are about to get a helping hand because your situation is requiring assistance from a higher source not just anybody because you are doing work you've done everything you can to make something work you've done everything to change your situation and still something is not enough for somebody all right there's no more for you there's no more whatever you're trying to do there's no more you did everything you prayed you've cleansed you you've done it now it's time to let go because something big is happening so again when you feel lost when you feel like you you've lost a grip when you feel like you've had everything down plaque and suddenly like something is unclear but you still are stable that is a big sign of your manifestation coming through stepping into the unknown okay So again, there's no more for you to do at this time. You are being guided and divine, divinely guided, excuse me, to surrender your troubles right now. To surrender your... What's the right word? To surrender your curiosity right now. Spirit is saying, you, you have done everything possible from yourself that you could do to assist the situation. So, surrender. Because as an ancient, you will bring forth the best possible outcome. Trust me, you always do. And this message is especially important if you have also been praying about something.
a lot of you guys, you know, sometimes what you need to do is very simple. And it's light a candle, sit mm -hmm. in prayer, and talk to your gods. Let them know you are aware of their presence. Let them know you surrender to the process and will let go of your heavy heart, your heavy burdens. Trusting, right? All will work out in due time and you are doing everything that you possibly can. But this is a big, something's big is happening in your life. Anytime when you feel instantly lost, anytime when you're going through another um, stage of the dark night of the soul that is a rebirth that is shedding something because there's something big happening that cannot live in the same energetic environment that was comfortable before ask them to assist you and let them know you need their focus right now in order to feed and fill Supported. They are listening. Look at you right in the middle. They are listening. Something major is happening. That's all I keep feeling. Y'all. That's all I keep feeling. Spirit, give me more on this darkness. Please and thank you. Wow, the spirit weaver. So again, spirit gods, there are a lot of spirits working through you to give off the positive messages and the fuck the positive, the important messages that needs to be delivered in order to assist the collective consciousness to continue to rise. All right, you are weaving spirits right now. You are weaving together messages, um, being aware and being guided to certain omens and, you know, doing certain things to have your chakras all aligned and activated as need be because you are a vessel. You are a vessel. Okay, you are a vessel right now. And your spirit guides are very proud. Okay, magic is not something that is reserved, right? For only a selective lucky few. Everyone is born with a powerful magic. You know, for a lot of you guys, you're gonna have to understand that magic until the ends of eternity will always last, no matter if you believe in it or not. And this means that you are a spirit weaver. You are a, 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 a cleansed and clear vessel and have the ability to manifest the life of your dreams right now because all of these fears that you are getting over internally. It's a lot of energy you are processing right now. This is a quick nudge of your power right now. All right, whoever you are, you are capable of obtaining any life you choose right now. If you are seeking wealth, if you are seeking love or healing, know that all of that and more is right within arm's reach right now. And the first step in manifesting, right? A very fulfilling life is believing you motherfucking can. And if you always seek the good, the good will seek you in return. But if you guys focus only on a bad shit, then that is what's going to happen to you. And that's not even in this reading right now. You are filled with high vibrational goodness. You're weaving together the best parts of you and yourself. And you're attracting even more beauty and more abundance by weaving those certain parts back, you know, together. You're no longer broken, okay? Certain parts of you had to die 
You hear me? Certain parts of you had to end. It was necessary. And that is the process of darkness, death. It will continue to be that way. And once you continue to learn and learn, the process get easier and easier and you become comfortable with the darkness, with the shedding of the skin, with the uncomfortability. Okay? So, <clears throat> this is amazing energy right now. Being a clear channel for guidance. All right, this means that you, again, you know things that people want to know. Spirit, give me one as River Woman. Let's get that call. I wanted to come out. Wow, thunderstorm. Damn. You shot the shit out of somebody. You hear me? You struck a masculine's heart. A masculine has been struck by your essence. All right? Somebody is going through a, feel like they're going through a thunderstorm. Okay? This is a rude awakening. This is a rude awakening. But this rude awakening is bringing in clarity to the consequences of someone's actions. All right? And the actions was of all lack of action, right? So a big, huge, rude awakening to the consequences. All right? And, you know, beliefs and values you know, you hold dear to your heart are also a part that is going to be tested to determine whether or not you are strong enough, you are capable enough, you are brave enough to hold you and your higher self to the best of your ability. This was a warning sign. You know, thunderstorms and thunder, a shock, it's a warning sign to a masculine that there is a very significant change in their life, all right? And this is a time to put faith in a higher power right now and trust in the universe. Right now, whoever this masculine is, okay, the, uh, the events that are transpiring right now is completely out of his control. It is completely out of his control. It is giving Oya energy. So, again, a rude awakening because they definitely felt and dealt with a lot of consequences, okay, from this thunderstorm, bringing massive change, all right, that is calling them, again, it's time to put their faith into a higher power, all right, and trust in the universe, because again, the events that are playing out right now is completely out of his control, But he can decide, right, how to navigate this situation. Whatever that was taken from this masculine will be replaced. And what is lost is only what they really didn't need. You know, for a lot of guys, whoever the fuck this is, they they probably feel like it's the end of the world right now with this with this energy. You know, there are moments in our lives like a thunderstorm. We all went through it, right? When change is so thorough, right? And you can't do anything about it. 
but allow it to pass. Allow it to pass and surrender, right? When it rains, you can't really go outside, so you wind up just chilling, surrendering, and be like, you know, I'm going to watch TV. Nothing you could do about the rain, right? All you could do is trust that it's going to end, right? It got to end, right? So, again, these storms both in the sky and in our lives present danger, present caution, but ultimately they clear the air and make space for a better and, and clear and, and focused view of what's on top of you. You know, what's in your face? What comes after a, a thunderstorm? Or sometimes rainbows even come after thunderstorms. Sometimes um, it'd be like beautiful sun beaming after. So this is a rude awakening. All right? A rude awakening. And I feel like a lot of you guys, your feelings, your tears, your emotions is doing this. Like you see how it's pouring on that motherfucker? These are your tears. These are your emotions that is sending shocks through this person's vein. Like when it comes to a rude awakening. As the result as of the results of the consequences. Whatever consequences. You know, it could be anything. But it doesn't feel good. Spirit, give me one this um ancient. The ancient. You are heavily protected right now. Wow, plant and seeds. Plant seeds. So something is growing. All right, you might be growing. All right, there, uh, there's some seeds that you've been planting. And I feel like it has a lot to do with within. You know, seeds are very fragile, right? At this stage, you could be very fragile, all right? Very sensitive, but you carry the intelligence of an entire being, right? Just like a plant, like, you know, a plant, it start off as a, seed, as a seeds, right? It's very little, it's very, you know, soft, it's very fragile, but it literally... If cared for properly, it will turn into an entire plant from a little seed. And every tiny seed contains roots, leaves, flowers, stems, and everything that makes that plant beautiful and unique. You know, so seeds are intentions. And they must be nurtured and protected until they are strong enough, right, to flourish on their own. So there is something big, again, forming that required you to go through this process because this is, the, this is not just another blessing. This is a change in your life, a next stage, the next chapter to your life. There's a huge idea that is forming in your spirit right now, whoever you are. And if it's not now, it will be soon. So whether you've been inventing, reinventing yourself, all right, um, as the head of some sort of thriving business, planning to start a family, all right, reinventing um, new ways to bring a healthy community together, um, everything you need to grow your dreams or whatever it is that you're trying to do, 
you're going to do it within this seed. Something is taking root in your life. Something is becoming deep rooted like a foundation because you are only as strong as your roots. Okay, for some of you guys, this could even be children. Okay. Spirit, give me more on this thunderstorm. Wow, abundance. So there is change. Abundance. So, of course, abundance is a state of someone's not being. You feel abundant. Uh, a lot of us, you know, some of us, you could allow yourself, right, to become victim to something. Or you can embrace the spirit of abundance through, you know, your expectations of always having enough. The universe always provides. You never are going to go without. So this is about financial wealth. This is about wealth and a peace of mind, stability, safety, shelter. You're going to feel abundant. This feeling of abundance is going to call more, right? Abundance in, in return. It's a lot of love you're seeking, all right? You're feeling an abundance of joy right now, all right? You could be drawing a lot of things closer to you just by feeling like that. A lot of you guys that are seeking money, an abundance of hope right now. When it comes to your money, oh, that's changing. Be grateful. Right? For the richness that is already present in our lives, baby. And watch more abundance flow through you like that river woman. All right? You had to teach this person about abundance. Greed, lust, not valuing, not preserving, not cultivating. You know? Not knowing what to do with all of this. All right? You a lot of women right here this is a lot of women okay this is a lot of women you hear me i bet that ass woke up a rude awakening a shock of their lifetime all right because you came in abundant so honestly i think that this is a clear message i don't want to hold y'all up but this was very powerful. This was very powerful. I'm being called to ask. Remember what I was saying? Like, you know, people probably feel like you know stuff, but they really don't know what you know, but they know you know. <laughs> it's so confusing. Let I want to clarify that. Sir, give me more in his darkness. Please and thank you. Look, the spirit of the south. You have the magic touch right now, first of all. Like your hands and whatever you do from those hands is on fire. All right, allowing that seed to grow. Okay, this is all about fire and harnessing that brave and, and confidence. Initiating that energy of expansion, right? 
taking action. Again, having the power to bring massive change. A lot of us, you know, we all have a purpose to fulfill. All right. And the universe gives us, you know, little nudges and messages, you know, throughout our journey, letting us know which direction to take. And being aware of these messages and your surroundings, all right, and being conscious of the messages that the universe is giving you and acting accordingly allows you to channel spirit in a healthy way, in a productive way, because we could all channel spirits, right? But look at the outcome of certain situations. So the universe always gives you plenty of time to, ch to change your direction or route. Especially when you fall off course. All right. Now, if you ignore these warning signs, all right, the universe must step over you. The universe must step in and... And, you know, cause a tower moment and whatever thing that led you to stray. So again, this card is like a final warning. A final warning that some changes must occur in your life. And in anybody's lives that is going to be in your energy. All right. And it is not wise to ignore the signs that you have been communicating to others when it comes to how to treat you. Because when you're talking about the spirit of the self and fire, and it's a fire element. When you continue to ignore those signs that obviously that you've been putting out like don't force my hand or you know like you know respect the fire will manifest in your life as chaos and complete destruction until you come back to your purpose and understand what's really going on embracing you know Passion, creativity, honoring those and other people. Again, so, you know, with this thunder and with this spirit of the South. This is like the final warning sign <laughs> to somebody in the most humblest way. That some changes must occur in their lives in order to be a part of your abundance. To be a part of the new seeds that you plant in. To be a part of things in life. And if they choose not to, that is also fine because you cannot make nobody choose you. Do not go around feeling bad or something that no... Don't, nobody does not have to choose you. Nobody does not have to find you attractive. I always tell you that. So again, the changes need to be made. And if you continue to be just disrespected in ways that are uncalled for, all right, if this is a warning sign that the fire will manifest in somebody's life as chaos and destruction until somebody come back to their senses on why they even doing it things to even push you all right so um damn <laughs> okay that's what i have for you guys all right yeah because you're over here gathering cultivating all right you don't need nobody to be taken from you especially your motherfucking peace especially anything all right, this is a season of celebration, of abundance, of having a lot of resources, having enough, more than enough. 
All right, so I hope this reading helps. This is a very cool reading. I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next one.